Get ready, Travel Channel fans. Jeff is going to be on the air with a wacky new show. We're about to find out about it live. Jeff, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. I'm just curious, what have you created? I've created an entertainment monster is what I've created, Con. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you get to travel, which has got to be a lot of fun. But th there's a unique take you have on this show. Well, the idea, very simply, is that there's cool and unexpected and wonderful entertainment taking place all over the country, and we're tracking it. Whether that's, you know, a rattlesnake derby in Oklahoma, you know, uh, the pig and Ford races in Oregon, where you get a live pig and you jump into a Model T and tr run around a track, or, you know, like lobster boat races in Maine. Um, it's all about finding this cool entertainment that, you know, people kind of invent and is really popular. You wouldn't know about it, but it's real popular. Well, we're very excited that you survived the Rattlesnake Derby, whatever that was. What took place there? Well, I mean, it's in Mangum, Oklahoma. That's part of our first episode on Tuesday night. And, the re you know, what they do is this is a town that used to boom the oil companies moved out, and the rattlesnakes moved in. You know, they eat garbage and stuff left, left behind. And rather than run from them, which I would have done, the people in Mangum created the Rattlesnake Derby. And, you know, 5,000 people show up to this teeny town every year, and, you know, it looks like a normal carnival, funnel cakes and, you know, like, you know, Ferris wheels. But then there are thousands of rattlesnakes in town. You eat rattlesnakes, you catch them. It's pretty cool. And you know what? I mean... I can't think of anything weirder for me to be experiencing than that, but I love being there. Well, you're a Northeastern guy, I think, originally from Boston. So what's it like been getting around the country? Well, I'm from Boston. I still live there. And what I find is that, you know, while in the Northeast and also in just big cities in general, we're kind of snooty about, you know, how special we are. Um, there's amazing stuff going on all over the place. And some of these people have really figured it out far better than I have. You know, I'm living in a place with a high cost of living. You know, you pay 700 bucks to see the Rolling Stones. You go to Arkansas, you know, and you go to the Outhouse Bean Fest in Mountain View, and it's beautiful there. There are people everywhere. There's music. There's food. A house is like $85,000 for a beautiful house right in the downtown. I mean, these people have figured it out in a way that maybe I haven't. Well, another thing you figured out, maybe you can be uh, uh, certified for me. I always thought people from Pittsburgh were zombies, and I understand, understand they have a zombie fest there. They do. And, you know, <laughs> the thing about this show is we, when we go to a state, we don't go there just randomly. I mean, there's a reason there's a zombie fest in Pennsylvania, and in Pittsburgh in particular. It's because George Romero, Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, he's from Pittsburgh. So there's a makeup school in town, and thousands of people take part in this zombie fest. And, I've, you know, it's amazing to me how elaborate these costumes are. I mean, I became a zombie. I competed. I don't want to give too much away, but I'm not that bad at the brain toss. How good are you from beer to bike fest? Beer to bike fest? I mean, Oregon, what do you think of? I think of trees and biking. I mean, it's a number one bike commuting state. But, you know, it's a little boring to just kind of ride around. Fortunately, these incredible entertainment things have, have, have been spawned by, by biking. I go there and I took part in the bike toss, which is what you think it is. You take a bike and you throw it and you see how far it can go. More interesting, I think, is the bike joust, where these, like, punk rockers... Oh, my God. Exactly. These punk rockers actually, like, build these tall bikes, welding one bike onto another. You get on top of that... You stuff a PVC pipe with a big fist on the end of it, and you try to knock each other out. I mean, I consider it kind of like green wrestling. Now, did you take part in this? I got, Con, I got to do everything that I cover. I mean, it's just... All right. It, it's part of my job. I'm a professional. So whether it's climbing an ice wall in Colorado or, like, jumping on an alligator in Florida or getting into the bike just, I've got to do it. Well, we're glad you've matched up with the Travel Channel. We look forward to tuning in. Any last thoughts, Jeff? No, I mean like Tuesday nights, and I just hope I survive. We do, too, because uh, it sounds like pure joy and entertainment, plus we get to discover some unique activities. Thanks so much, Jeff, for joining us. Thanks for having me. And happy jousting, brother. Thank you. We'll meet in joust sometime. <laughs>